Hello there and welcome to another fun guitar lesson. Today we'll talk about the right hand technique, which is essential for everyone who wants to learn how to play fun guitar and for everyone who wants to improve their skills. We'll also talk about the 16th note subdivision, which is the most used subdivision in funk music. And I'll give you some great examples and exercises so you can play along and practice with me. All the tabs and backing tracks for this and many other lessons from my channel are available on my Patreon page. I'll leave the link in the description. And now let's dive into the first part of the lesson. The most important thing here is to always keep your right hand relaxed. I know it's easier said than done, but try to always consciously keep your right hand and arm relaxed. In the next examples your right hand will be always playing, so it's a continuous movement. Make sure to keep your wrist in the air and not connected to the bridge. You wanna be playing like this? Instead of putting your wrist on the bridge. This way it would be really hard to play these funk riffs. So, loose and relaxed wrist and always in the air. Another important thing is that the most part of the movement comes from the wrist. Not from the forearm or elbow, but from the wrist. Make sure you're not playing like this. This way you're playing from the elbow and this could be a good exercise for your bicep but certainly not for your funk guitar technique. Yes, I use a little bit of forearm movement for the momentum like... But the most part of the movement comes from the relaxed wrist. The 16th note subdivision is the most used in funk music. If you haven't already, you may want to check my top 10 funk guitar riffs for guitar video. I'll leave the link in the description and see how this subdivision works in some of the most groovy funk riffs. The most part of the funk guitar riffs is built using different combinations of 16th notes patterns, a mix of accents and muted notes. In the next examples we will be always playing the 16th note subdivision with our right hand, so it's really important that you feel it. Basically we'll be subdividing every beat in four equal parts. So if we have our four four bars like one, two, three, four. We're gonna be subdividing each one of those in four equal parts, like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And in my right hand, I'm playing one, two, three, four, 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 one. So these are the 16th notes. As I mentioned earlier, the most part of funk guitar riffs are made of different combinations of 16th notes accents. In order to be completely comfortable playing those riffs and all the different combinations, we should be able to isolate and accent each one of the four 16th notes existing in each beat. And this brings us to the next five exercises. First, you need to get comfortable with playing just muted notes and always keeping that 16th note subdivision in your right hand. Make sure your time feel and precision are solid and consistent. Basically, you want to mute your strings with the left hand here. You know, it depends on different situations, but I like to use like many, many of my fingers to prevent strings from sounding. So I like to use my thumb here on the top and these fingers laying down on the strings without pressing too much because if, if not you you can hear some some pitches so basically try to get the sound and then you just start playing the 16th notes with your right hand like one two three four 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 one As we will be emphasizing the first notes of each beat, these will be actually corresponding to the beat. The chord we will be using in this in, in the next examples is one of the funk guitar classics, D9 chord. So we are playing on these four strings, 5, 4, 3, 2, the 6th string and the first one are muted. So we play 5th fret on the A string, 4th on the D string and 5 and 5 on the G and B strings. 
and you want to play like this and also you want to be muting the low E string with, with the very tip of your middle finger here so make sure you're touching lightly the low A string so it doesn't sound and the first string, the high E string, you want to mute with your pinky with this part of the pinky so these two strings are muted this way you can play your funk rhythms without thinking about these two strings in order to play the accents we need to unmute the chord in the right place of the beat in this case right on the first 16th note so we play the chord and then just relax your left hand fingers so they continue touching the strings but without pressing into the fretboard so you play then relax play relax play relax one two three four one two three four and so on now this one is a bit trickier than the previous one because we will be playing on the upbeat always make sure to keep your solid 16th note subdivision going in the right hand and unmute the chord on the second note of each beat your goal is to build a solid time control and to feel the pulse feel the beat one two three four 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 one so you basically always feel the subdivision one two three four but you unmute the chord on the second note one two three four one two three four one after playing the previous example this one feels way more natural it will certainly remind you of the famous reggae music pattern we unmute the chord on the third note it sounds like this one two three Three four one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four one one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four one now this one is very similar to the second note accent because we are playing on the upbeat once again it's a bit trickier than the previous one, so make sure you're always playing on time. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. In this part of the lesson, I'll show you five different combinations of the 16th notes accents. All the combinations last for one bar, and the goal is to repeat them in loop. You will be playing the D9 chord for the first four combinations, and we will add two more chords for the fifth one. One of them will be F9 which is exactly the same as the D9 chord but starting on the 8th fret and the E7 sharp 9 or the Jimi Hendrix chord played like this so we play 7th fret A string 6th D string 7th G string and 8th fret on the B string now I'll go through all the five combinations and feel free to grab your guitar and play with me.
Thank you very much for watching this video guys, I hope it was helpful for your daily fun guitar practice routine. Please make sure to check my other tutorials and subscribe to my channel because it helps me a lot. And see you in the next video.